eggshells, butter, and collagen. These may not sound like the typical, typical ingredients in a cup of coffee. Greg Gonzalez has more. Coffee makes the world go round. It wakes us up, makes us poop, and can even change our mood. But what about eggshell coffee, collagen coffee, or ghee butter coffee? Are these just fads, or are they actually effective? I went to an even better cafe and spoke to Alex Beaton for the scoop. So I've been in the coffee industry for about five years now. I um, actually uh, got started off by accident. Uh, a restaurant that I worked for closed down and they also owned a coffee shop and so um, I basically got transferred over there and fell in love with it and here I am. Basically eggshells and coffee, um, it stems from a Scandinavian tradition and basically it makes the coffee a little easier to digest and so the calcium kind of dulls down the acidity levels of the coffee and makes it a little bit more palatable for some people, it gives it more of a a tea-like consistency as opposed to how uh, how dense and saturated coffee usually is. Why? Uh, what's the use of collagen in coffee? It's a good way to you know beef up the protein content because there really isn't much in a regular cup of coffee and it also has a, an effect that kind of lowers some of the acidity level of the coffee not by as much as the eggshells but um, more or less it's just a protein supplement that doesn't really alter the flavor of the coffee at all. It, so butter ghee, uh, you know, it, it can kind of fill you up. Um, it has more of a filling effect than regular coffee would. Um, you know, our brains are made up of mostly fat, so adding medium chain triglyceride fats to coffee um, is said to kind of help uh, deter having caffeine crashes and also, you know, kind of enhances the mental stimulation people feel from caffeine. For the Met Report, this is Greg Gonzalez.